Google recently released a phone they say has a camera that now accurately portrays people with dark skin. Were cameras not doing so before? Was this bias really a thing? Let's find out. I'm Rafael, the photographer behind the Light Committee studio in Los Angeles. Back to the matter at hand. So, Google ran an ad during the recent Super Bowl. The ad was about the phone's camera being able to supposedly allow you to be seen as you truly are. They claim to have vastly improved their camera tuning models and algorithms to more accurately highlight the nuances of diverse skin tones with their real tone software. But is this just marketing to take advantage of the current political tone we're in? We're doing a shoot today to find out. We'll be comparing shots from a couple of cameras to see what the results are. But first, there is some belief in the industry that darker skin tones need to be lit differently. It stems from historical reports that back in the day when cameras like this one dominated, film for these cameras was created to favor light skin tones. But is this really still a thing with digital cameras? We've had digital now since the late 80s. Are camera and lighting manufacturers still building in bias? I'm going to photograph three models with varying skin tones across dark, medium, and light. I will start with Jenny, the medium skin tone model and set up for a headshot session. The lights will be set up for proper exposure of her. Afterward, I will leave the lighting in place and not change any settings. I will, however, make proportionate height adjustments to the lights to account for model height differences. Then I will photograph Britta, the model with the lightest skin. And then I will photograph Renee, the model with the darkest skin. Again, all the lighting and camera settings will remain the same for each model. I will take one series of shots with a modern mirrorless camera and another series of shots with a camera released around 10 years ago to see if maybe back then there was a difference. In terms of each camera, the Canon R5 and Nikon D810, it can easily be argued they are among the top 10 best DSLR or mirrorless cameras ever made. And in just a bit, I will share here some of the photos taken. The only editing to be done will be cropping the photos to the same aspect ratio and 4K format of this video. And here are the results. As you can see, the outcomes for each camera are close and difficult to decipher the differences. When comparing the shots to how each model looks in real life, the shots remain closely accurate. There is only a subtle difference in how each manufacturer implements white balance. So what might this mean? In this photographer's editorial opinion, as mentioned earlier, it might mean that any vendor now claiming their products accurately depict dark versus light skin tones better than before is possibly just doing marketing time to take advantage of the current political climate, that there likely is not much that has changed in their products. Otherwise, it might mean the alternative, that their products did have bias built into them, and they have just now decided to remove it and that would beg the question, why did they still build in such bias just months ago, decades after the film industry did it? As we can see here, at least with professional grade cameras and lighting, this likely has not been happening for many, many years. So there you have it. I hope you found this comparison helpful. I'll now leave you with some edited shots of the models. Thanks for watching.